The first thing we did at Busingo was rewrite the code of conduct. So one of the gems in the remote interpreter is chapter six on ethics. We did a full scan of the 200, you know, more than 200 codes of ethics around the world to try and kind of distill what are the core interpreting ethics or, and there really are shared ethics. And then there are a couple of ethics that are controversial. So we use that as our baseline code of conduct for um, interpreters who may be interpreting in spaces where there isn't an official code of ethics. So if you're doing general community interpreting or going into settings, financial interpreting, where there isn't like a professional association with a code of ethics. And it, it makes it for a really robust code of conduct because interpreters are being trained to just those core ethics that are agreed upon, you know, both inside the U.S. and outside the U.S. Um, and then the second thing we did was add in, we, the book contains some really useful technology checklists, checklists for how to be fully set up as a remote interpreter in your home office, in your home space, and how to be private and how to be on camera, and, right? And then it also has a checklist for what to do right before you get on camera. And so we incorporated those into our, our code of conduct as well. So all the interpreters who interpret over the platform agree to follow those checklists in the code of conduct. So that's the first thing we did. Um, and then the second thing we've done um, is start to build out training, but we're definitely using it as a base to, to you know, create training and to provide um, additional support to our partners.